Hey guys, Weep here. Welcome back to another video by Variety MMOs. So, in today's video, we're going to cover the Chaos Dungeons. If you've watched any of the character class guides, you'll note that I've mentioned the Chaos Dungeons quite a few times, and I give builds to clear this content quickly because you're going to be doing it quite a lot throughout Lost Ark. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about why you're going to be farming the Chaos Dungeons, the best way to get through them we're also going to talk about the difference between your normal chaos dungeons and your unlimited runs which gives you a different type of currency to spend so we're going to go through and have a look at each of those and we're also going to compare the t the tier differences between tier one two and three available at the store for the chaos dungeons okay so let's have a look at the interface so this is the interface for the Chaos Dungeon. So down here you're going to have Resonance Aura. So you'll get 100 Resonance Aura per day. And each time you complete the dungeon you're going to use up 50. So what this means is that you're going to have two runs. Two proper runs. And when you're using Resonance Aura you're going to get this loot here. You basically get whatever is here depending on whichever dungeon you're in. So it's just a normal run. You get your gear. Now up here is Rest Bonus. If you don't use your resonance your resonance will turn into rest bonus which will give you more loot when you go back through later but this only happens if you're missing your dailies which you quite frankly shouldn't be doing so the only entry requirement to get into these is the item level requirement and to unlock the appropriate uh location in your quest line as you can see here the bottom of the quest line towards the end it'll go through each of these and the gear score requirement will keep going up and the gear will keep going up so before we go in there, I want to talk about tiers and the store. So you'll notice here that this is tier 1, tier 1, tier 2, tier 2, tier 3, tier 3. So think of tiers as like expansions for a game, right? So tier 1 would be the base level gear for like when the game first come out. Tier 2 would be like the first expansion. And tier 3 would be the next expansion. So every time you change a tier, the gear the gear score or the gear power goes up substantially so like a low level t3 gear will smash generally a high tier level 2 gear because they're different expansions like in any other mmo so when you're going through these dungeons you're going to get different types of loot but i i want to mention here so after you've run you two dungeon runs which we'll go and have a look at in a moment you can keep running again and again in effectively an unlimited manner you can go through as many times as you want. But what happens is that instead of getting a lot of gold and a lot of gear, you're going to get a very small amount of gear, no gold, and you're going to get these items down here instead. So you're going to get the fragments and you're going to get the confusion decisions, which I'm sure will have a different translation on global. But as you can see here, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. So you get them in the appropriate dungeon. So tier 1 in the first two, tier 2 in the second two, tier 3 in the first in the third one so if you go to the store which is located here beside the chaos dungeon you're going to notice a t1 item exchange t2 and t3 so you'll notice down here that you're able to buy items for your character and these are very important because you're able to buy 20 of them and by doing so you can instantly unlock the inscriptions for your character so like if you open up your character and go into here you'll see that i have hunting time unlocked here simply by going through the chaos dungeon so how i did this is what i did is i used a high level character and i went back and for example i went to a low level dungeon and farmed it really quickly now i want to mention a couple of things here so you'll note that this is d1 and this is d1 as well if you farm this lowest level t1 here the amount of items you're gonna get is like 40 but if you farm the highest tier one which is down here you get like 200 so always go to the highest one of the tier of gear that you're trying to farm so for example when i went back and farmed t1 stuff to get the stuff for my character i took in a high level character and burst through it and i was able to get the items to go to the store and use it and i brought these items here which i then used on my character once you've done that you can also buy other stuff here like breakthrough stones and destruction stones which are used to upgrade your gear and other stuff like that so it can be really 
important to farm this and get your tokens to be able to get the items that you're looking for. You can also trade them for jewelry, which will have different imprints. So it's more imprints that you're looking for for your character. Once you've done the T1, you can also farm the T2 and do the same thing here and get more engravings. So you want to use 20 of the same engraving, then go to here and use 20 of that engraving to upgrade. Once you're here at T3, it slightly changes. You're no longer able to get the engraving, I believe, but you're able to get a bunch of other items like Protection of the Sun, which has, uh, increases your chance of upgrades and stuff like that. So it's important that you can use these items by basically grinding endlessly and use these items to upgrade. Of course, you can use other characters and go and get gold and buy stuff like this, but that's easier said than done because on NA, it's going to be a new server, so not all items are going to be available. Like on Korea, I could use gold to buy basically anything to accelerate my character, but on NA, everybody's going to be using the items, so you won't necessarily be able to buy them. So this is why knowing that this stuff is here for the Chaos Dungeon, it's important for you to be able to know how to get your own items. Okay, so now that we've gone and had a look at the T1, T2, and T3 store at items, let's go and have a look at the Chaos Dungeon itself. Okay, so I've entered the Chaos Dungeon floor. Inside each Chaos Dungeon, there's a total of three floors. And you're basically going through the floors to clear out mobs to increase the purity. Once it hits 100, you're done with the run. It's pretty simple. So once you've hit a certain percentage, a portal will open up, which will allow you to go to the next room. So because I'm on a lower tier floor right now, I'm able to just kind of stomp the mobs for this video. However, on higher tier floors, the bosses and mobs are going to have different effects and just be, in general, all more powerful and quite frankly annoying to beat. It's important to note that you can bring other people into this dungeon, so you don't necessarily have to solo it. However, it does scale based on how many people you have in the dungeon, so I wouldn't necessarily bring other people with me generally. Okay, so now I have a new five minutes because I'm on a new floor. You'll notice that the bosses are going to start spawning now, but they're not going to be very tough because it is floor one. So let's clean them up pretty quickly. I'm far basically farming the fragments right now to unlock those items in the store that we spoke about earlier while we're getting our resonance aura. So something else to note too is that while you're doing this, you can go into your all tasks here. I can't necessarily always recommend you do this depending on what it is, but you can see here there's Chaos Clear Stage 1, 1, 1. So there's all three of them. So basically you can click on this and run this Chaos Dungeon over and over and over again. And in about an hour you can do all three weeklies for your all quests. So if that's something you want to do, you can do that. But the items may not necessarily be what you're looking for. So I'm running through the dungeon, getting through as quickly as possible. I would be obviously doing this quicker if I wasn't speaking. But uh, you want to clear this as fast as humanly possible, and then you're going to open up the portal. So currently I'm on the second floor. When you finish the second floor, there is a chance that the portal that spawns is either purple or gold. And if it is purple or gold, which unfortunately it's not, inside is like a boss or an enemy that doesn't attack back. And you'll get different rewards like gear, gold, silver, and stuff like that. If you get them when you're in unlimited, like when you have no energy, they're just going, it's not actually going to drop gear, it's just going to drop tokens, and it's not very helpful. Okay, so here we are on floor 3, we're just going to keep powering through them. So that is the basics of the Chaos Dungeon. Uh, when it comes to farming them, you basically just want a class that can do, you know, AoE and stomp the enemies really quickly. Uh, I should probably note that each of those red crystals that I'm destroying, and each of those elites that I'm breaking or killing, it's actually regenerating my cooldowns. I believe it's like 40% when you kill them. So feel free to use your big cooldown abilities, because as soon as you kill a boss or kill a crystal, it's going to regenerate most of it anyway. So as you can see here, I have cooldowns, so I'm going to crack the cool. Cooldowns went down. So in the higher tier content, you can use your ultimate abilities, your awakening abilities, on the bosses. And it won't matter, because the bosses will give you your cool back down, so you can use it again a little bit later on. So when it comes to clearing T1 and T2 content, I wouldn't overly concern yourself with 
uh, really any abilities that do single targets that much because a majority of the dungeons, as you can see here, you just kind of stomp through them. However, when it gets up to the T3, the bosses do start getting kind of annoying in their HP pools and their damage output. And they also start doing things like knocking you down and whatnot. So when you're in the T3 content, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you have at least one main single target ability that you can use on the bosses to wipe them out. Okay, so the purity is almost done. And done. So as you can see, I didn't get any rewards because I had already done two dungeons today. But that doesn't matter because I got the items that I can now use in the store to buy items. As I mentioned earlier, my opinion, the most important thing is getting the engravings because these will go straight into your character. But there are times that you're going to run out of like destruction stones or whatnot to upgrade your character. All these items here are actually used to upgrade your gear. So as long as you have currency and you buy these, you can just keep upgrading your gear and get to the next tier quicker. Of course, there was other content in the game that you want to be doing as well. Uh, like, for example, instead of doing this, you go level another character and do the other dungeons and go and buy your stuff. But if that's not what you're up to, if you, if you kind of want to do a brain dead, just kind of zerg rush to get your items that you want to, then you can do it through the Chaos Dungeons. So... The last thing I want to mention in this is that the Chaos Dungeon is able to give you... Apparently I don't have that here. So it gives you tokens to enter the cube. And I believe the other one is the boss rush. Or it's the path. No, I think it's the boss rush. So I believe it's T2 or above. So not on the first ones. I believe it'll give you boss rush tickets to get into the content. Because I believe it's the boss rush and the cube both need tickets to access that content and you can only get those tickets while in energy mode so you can't do it in unlimited so like for example you can see here elite cube and corridor of silence so that's the two tickets that you're looking for to access other content so i think that covers basically everything you need to know for the chaos dungeons uh have fun grinding make sure you pick a class you can do it really quickly and make sure that you pick up all the rewards that you need that covers everything in today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.